Welcome aboard Alex's Animal Ark. My name is Alex and I will be your guide to all the amazing animals that live on our planet. Today we will be learning about the short-beaked echidna. So what is a short-beaked echidna? To start with, they are a medium-sized monotreme, and they and platypi are the only mammals that can lay eggs. They can reach lengths between 12 and 18 inches and can weigh between 4.4 and 15.4 pounds. However, their size varies depending on where they live. For example, the Tasmanian subspecies is smaller than all the other subspecies. They can live up to 50 years in captivity and may live up to 45 years in the wild. Their body, except for their belly, arms, and legs, is covered in cream-colored spines that can reach up to two inches in length. These spines are modified hairs and mostly made out of keratin, which just like our hair and fingernails. They have fur in between their spines that act as insulation, and they also have fur on their undersides and on their short tails. Their fur can range in color from honey to reddish brown and even black. The coloring also varies depending on where they live. Short-beaked echidnas have a wedge-shaped beak with their nostrils and mouth found at the end of it. Their beak is very leathery and covered in mechano and thermoreceptors, which help them gather information about their environment. Their beak also has electroreceptors inside their nostrils, and this allows the short beak echidna to sense electric fields of 1.8 millivolts per centimeter, which is 1,000 times more sensitive than humans. Their mouths can only open about 5 millimeters or about 0.2 inches wide. Inside their mouths, they have a very long and sticky tongue covered in specialized mucus that they use to catch their prey. However, they do not have any teeth and instead have some rough keratinous pads at the, on the roof of their mouths that help them capture their prey and grind it up. Their tongue is very flexible on the end, which allows it to bend around corners and termite mounds. Their tongue is also very quick and has been measured to move in and out of their mouths at a hundred times a minute. This allows the echidna to eat really quickly, and a short-beaked echidna weighing about 6.6 .6 pounds can eat 200 grams of termites in 10 minutes. Short-beaked echidnas have two small nostrils and a very good sense of smell, which helps them find mates and food. Their eyes are very small and about nine millimeters in diameter. Their eyes combine certain characteristics of both bird and reptile eyes, as well as mammals. They have a cartilaginous layer underneath the sclera of the eyeball, just like birds and reptiles. Like other mammals, echidnas have a very flat lens, which gives them a very long focal length, which means they can see things well at a distance, just like humans can. They do not have the muscles the muscle that placental mammals have to distort their lenses to change the focal length so objects at different distances can be seen clearly. Instead, their whole eye distorts to change the distance between the retina and the lens for focusing. This means that the short-beaked echidna does not have great visual acuity, but luckily their eyesight is not necessarily needed, and they can at least distinguish between black and white and horizontal and vertical stripes. Their optic nerve is about as powerful as a rat's, and they also experience random eye movement when sleeping. They have ear holes on either side of their heads with no external parts visible. If they had visible external ear parts, then a predator could grab them and damage them. Their ears are very sensitive to low frequency sounds, which allows them to hear termites and ants underground. The macula in their ears acts as a gravity sensor to help the echidna orient itself. The short-beaked echidna has a very interesting brain. An average echidna's brain has an average volume of 25 milliliters, which is about the size of a brain of a similar sized cat. Compared to the platypus, short-beaked echidnas have a very complex and wrinkly brain, just like humans. Almost half, half of their sensory cortex is devoted to their snout and tongue, and the part that is devoted to smell is very large compared to other animals. Their prefrontal cortex also takes up about 50% of their brains. Scientists have done experiments and concluded short-beak echidnas 
are about as smart as cats or rats. They also have one of the shortest spines in the animal kingdom, which scientists think helps them roll up to protect themselves. Their stomachs are also interesting. They lack, they lack acid secretion glands in their stomach, but are able to grind up their food since their stomach is very flexible and covered in what looks like horns. Short-beaked echidnas have short and strong legs with long claws on their feet. Their back feet face backwards and have curved claws they use for grooming. Their legs are so strong they can rip apart logs and move rocks. For example, one short-beaked echidna was observed moving a 30-pound rock. Their arms have greater mechanical advantage than humans because their biceps connects their shoulders to their arms at a lower point than humans, and its chunky humerus allows for the formation of more muscle. Short-beaked echidnas have many cool adaptations. Since they spend a good amount of time underground, they come into more contact with carbon dioxide than most animals, but are able to deal with it well. They can dig up to a meter into the ground to escape predators or find food, and can also survive with low oxygen during the bushfires. They can also survive floods by lowering their heartbeat to preserve oxygen for the brain and heart. So where can you find short-beaked echidnas? Short-beaked echidnas occupy a wide range of habitats. They can be found from snowy alpine climates to semi-arid climates. These climates include meadows, heathlands, forests, woodlands, and the Australian desert. Their range includes Australia, Tasmania, Indonesia, and southern New Guinea. So what are some short-beaked echidna behaviors? Short-beaked echidnas are typically diurnal, but during warm weather they become nocturnal or crepuscular. They do this because they don't have sweat glands and they don't pant. They will also hang out in the shade or in temporary burrows if active during warm weather. They are insectivores and will eat ants, termites, worms, and grubs. They will avoid ants and termites that have nasty tasting secretions. Short-beaked echidnas are solitary and only come together to mate or if they have a female raising a, or if they are a female raising a baby. They can have ranges of 21 to 93 hectares and can overlap with others since they only have ranges to search for food. Short-beaked echidnas also hibernate during the Australian winter and also have periods of torpor throughout the year. They begin preparing between February and April and hibernate until June, July, or August and sometimes later. They will also dig themselves a temporary hibernation burrow to protect themselves. During this period, they go through 13 rounds of torpor broken up by periods of wakefulness, which coincide with warmer weather. Their body temperature can drop to as low as four degrees Celsius during this time. Short-beaked echidnas come together to mate between May and September. During courtship, a single female is followed by a train of males that can reach up to 10 individuals. Whichever male hangs around the longest eventually gets to mate with the female. Gestation takes between 28, 21 to 28 days, and during this time, the female digs a nursery burrow. After this time, the female lays a leathery egg into her backward-facing pouch. Ten days later, the egg hatches, and out comes a baby echidna, also known as a puggle. They then attach themselves onto a specialized patch of skin where they suckle their milk from since short-beaked echidnas have no nipples. At about two, two to three months of age, they are left in the nursery burrow because they are getting bigger and their spines are growing longer. They will keep suckling until they are weaned at about six months, at which point they will go off on their own. And now it's time for some short-beaked echidna fun facts. Short-beaked echidnas are really good swimmers, and they often do this to cool off. Knuckles from the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise is an echidna. Millie was the echidna mascot for the 2000 Sydney Olympic Games. They are featured on the Australian Five Cent piece. There are bundles of, of muscles at the base of each of their spines, which allows them to control the movement and direction of the spine. Thank you for listening. If you enjoyed it and want to hear more, 
feel free to subscribe to Alex's Animal Arc on YouTube or subscribe on Spotify, Deezer, Stitcher, TuneIn, Amazon Music, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Overcast, Castro, CastBox, Podfriend, and iHeartRadio. If there is an animal you would like me to like to hear me cover, please email your name and the animal you want to hear about to awesomeanimals21 at gmail.com, and I will add it to the list. Thank you for coming on this animal adventure. I will see you all again for the next voyage. Mm -hmm.